look at us back at King's Dominion. And this time we are ranking all the roller coasters based on my personal opinion. So my opinion might be different than your opinion or your friends or your cousin or your cousin's cousin. Anyway, let's start. I have so much energy right now, but just watch it dissipate. Just watch. It's the kids' ride though, so how good could it be? Probably the worst. So I'm assuming, I'm assuming it's actually great popcorn. Okay, I'm here with Lucy in front of Woodstock Express. We decided it's gonna be number 12 because it is a kiddie roller coaster. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just not thrilling and it just kind of just goes around in a circle and goes on its way, but it's fine, number 12. Okay, so number 11 is Anaconda. I think the layout is really inspiring, but it really sucks and it's really bumpy. Yeah, kind of sucks, so it's number 11. Apple's apple. I'm putting it at number 10 because it is a wild mouse. It's a good one, don't get me wrong, and I love the apple theme. I love, love the colors, but yeah. Number 10. And up the parking garage they go. Circle, circle, circle. All right, so we've arrived at that top coaster. I had to break it, I would break it number nine. It's a fun little family coaster. It's a fun little family coaster and um, it has its moments. Launches are fun. Look at all the little alien dudes. Tag yourself. It's not really that windy up here. And I came up here to get cool, but it's not even not even windy up here. Don't stop, don't stop, keep going. Ooh, we got an accident. We got an accident right there. Okay, number seven, we're putting Racer 75, both sides, I guess, even though they're not even racing. It's really smooth, just doesn't deliver. This does not deliver, like the Racer Kings Island delivers, this does not deliver the air, not seven. This is new. They added lots of theming to Tumbili since last time I was here. Sir. Okay, so number six, I have Tumbili. It is a free spin. It spins more than the average free spin. I sort of have a sentimental attachment to the ride because I was one of the first riders on the ride. But yeah, number six, pretty fun for this park. Let's go. Just so everyone knows, I used to think these were really creepy, but I've adopted them as of right now. These are my children. Fires in these parts is insane. So we're in front of Grizzly. If I had to rank Grizzly, I would rank Grizzly number five in the park because it's so fun. We just rode it in the front. It's so good. There's airtime moments. It is 
really nice and I recommend Grizzly to everyone that wants a nice wedding trip to do the woods. Definitely not the beast or boulder dash or anything. I still can't get over how good this looks. Oh, look at us now. We're here at Reptilian. And Reptilian, I put as number four in the park. It is a very comfortable bobsled coaster. And honestly, it's so fun just riding on Hershey's Act. I mean, the ride. You can ride tandem, just so you know. You can. Oh my god! in the park. I call this the dirt pile that was Volcano. If it was still operational, it'd be probably number three in the park. We miss Volcano. I never got to ride Volcano. I'm inclined to rank the dirt pile higher because of what happened in March. No twisties, no turnies, just a true loop. Alright, so we're here at number three, Dominator. It's a wonderful floor list. It's really fun. It's really good in the back. And, um, there's some air time. Some, some really good moments. Right. So visually impressive, look at that. That wasn't a year ago, that was two, that was like, it was three years ago. It was three years ago, I thought it was two years ago. My life is dumb, my life is dumb. You've got to be kidding me. My life is a joke, my life is a freaking joke. It's been three years. Since I was here with somebody else and I saw Zach and Zach ignored me and I've never let Zach live that down. So now me and Zach are here together. And you can assume the rest. I 305 all the time. Why does this happen? Alright, so here we have Intimidator 305. I am putting it at number two. Because I think it's sort of overrated. It's a little too intense. It's not rewritable. It's not my style. I don't think love should cause pain, in other words. Sort of intense, sort of demo demonic. Definitely designed by Satan himself. It's a lot to handle. But nonetheless, it is a giga. And one of the best. So yeah. Love the ride, but it causes pain. And I taste blood after a bit. Okay, so number one is Chris and Timbers. It is like the funnest mix size RMC. Those first three hills are like Toro Hills. Really fun, lots of airtime. And the 50s music makes me nostalgic for a lifetime I simply have not lived. The theming, the apples, the trains, the barrel roll drop, the trick tracks that confuse my body. The airtime is literally so, so strong on this ride. The Cedar Fair Shed King. It's my favorite in the park, what can I say? That's it for ranking the coasters here at King's Dominion. Like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're spicy. And yeah, that's it. Okay, bye. Thanks for watching.